Hello my friends and welcome to another video with me Steve England Outdoor Learning. I'm having a, a Sunday stroll and um, I've been out in an environment in a grassland environment looking for some mushrooms and I found a few and um, I'm gonna show you again the reason why you have to check every mushroom individually every mushroom and for you guys that were on my mushroom uh, course yesterday the magic of mushrooms and I was talking about the importance of checking every mushroom individually Rachel Mills and you guys this is exactly the reason why you check individual mushrooms I'll turn the camera around so look guys I've just been walking in this field out there lots of anomalies in the grass so I've gone to investigate I've done individual checks and I've concluded through my checks that all the mushrooms that I've collected haven't stained fluorescent yellow, which is what you've got to watch out for, because that would be a, uh, a very poisonous mushroom. These are all staining mildly pink. I'm 100% confident that what I've got in my bag is edible filled mushrooms. Then I've walked into this environment and I saw that. I went, hey, hey. initially, initially, I thought there's another filled mushroom. And then I can see one over here as well, just poking up there. But I'm gonna do a test and we will see what this really is, right? I'm gonna scratch the cap. Remember guys, I said you've gotta scratch the caps. I'm gonna leave that for a second. I'll come back to that in a minute. Let's go back over to the other one I just tested. So I did my scratch test and lo and behold, it's gone fluorescent yellow. That is my indicator. I'm going to pick it to show you. That is my indicator. This mushroom looks almost identical to these. There, in my bag, apart from the size. Look at that. Pink gills. Pink gills. Both got pink gills, both got a skirt, both got a skirt. The telltale sign that tells me that this is a poisonous mushroom is the fact that it's stained bright sulfurous yellow. Now if I'd have not done my checks and I'd have put that in there with that, I would have been in big trouble. Because what I've got is a poisonous yellow stainer mushroom. And that really demonstrates why you've got to check every mushroom individually. Can you see the sulfurous yellow coming in? There. You see that? Some of the agaric species will um, go very, very fade yellow but not sulfurous like this. So there you go guys, that is a really good demonstration of why you check every mushroom individually. Don't get complacent out here. And just because you see one mushroom and you've identified it as an edible field mushroom, don't assume every one of them are. And there's the evidence there. Let's go back and check the other one I just scratched. Whoa. There you go, fluorescing bright yellow. That tells me that that is a poisonous yellow stainer and not an edible filled mushroom. Easy to mistake, because it'll have pink gills as well. Yep, they're going pink. So there you go. There you go, another real time demonstration of how to separate the edibles from the poisonous. And I cannot emphasize this enough to all you guys who go out foraging. Do your checks. If not, you're going to get sick and ill. Do your checks and get it right. You can have a nice breakfast, which is what I'm going to have now with my filled mushrooms. Maybe with some smoked bacon, tomatoes, who knows. But I know that I'm going to eat safely. Anyway, I just wanted to share that mushroom video with you guys. Um, I've got one more mushroom course coming up on the 6th of November. So if you guys want to come out and learn how to do this, go on my website and have a look. And uh, I'll see you then. Until then, go careful guys, because the Grim Reaper is out here. And we've got to outsmart him or her. Woo, and I always do, baby. Don't we, Teddy? Yes.